Well, the DNR says ice conditions are iffy, but that is not stopping some early season anglers. Yeah, Chopper oh. 4 spotted this ice, ice fisherman on Freeze Lake this afternoon. This is in Washington County, undeterred by the spots of open water out there on the lake. Jesse, I'm going to sound like an old dad, but um, it makes me nervous when I see guys out on the ice this early in the season. Makes me nervous too. Two inches or less, you're supposed to stay off. Uh, at least there weren't any shanties out there, at least from Chopper 4. Four inches is thick enough for some of that ice fishing. Got to be at least five inches before you start thinking about ATV or snowmobiles, and at least eight to 12 inches for your car to be on there. And of course, uh, open water, just a sign that there's moving water underneath, which is never exactly something you want to be having underneath some ice. So we've got snow covered across uh, much of Milwaukee County temperatures right around 30 degrees at the airport 30 in Shorewood as well. Go inland a little bit though 28 with some very light flurry activity in Waukesha 28 and the snow stopping right now in Genesee as well as an Eagle snow tapering off down to the south as well 31 in Racine and notice these counties here is where we're expecting generally just a dusting tonight and into tomorrow morning counties up to the north where there is snow across Dodge, Washington, Ozaki, Sheboygan and Fond du Lac County. Temperatures are colder there and that's where the snow is going to be piling up more overnight tonight. And you can see there's plenty more of snow up to our north. Most of this is going to swing through north of I-94 overnight tonight and again mainly between about now and about 9 a.m. tomorrow. And that's where we're expecting generally about an inch north of Milwaukee and could see one to one and a half inches closer to Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County from Milwaukee southward just a dusting to a half an inch and the higher amounts of course the further north you are. Here's the other part of the story though. First we've got the snow, then we've got the warmer air starting to push on in and that's on a southwesterly wind. That's going to bring our temperatures into the mid to upper 30s as we go throughout your weekend. So again, snow tonight, then we'll be watching the warmer air start to push on in, timing that snow out for you again. Basically between about 1 and 4 a.m. is the heavier snow north of I-94. A lot of that will wrap up tomorrow morning and then it'll just be mainly cloudy, relatively mild. Notice the easterly direction to that wind though could see a few lake effect wind or lake effect flurries throughout the afternoon tomorrow. The wind continues to be from the east as we go throughout your Sunday, but relatively light, plenty of cloud cover. And with that warmer air comes a chance for a few sprinkles. Yeah, rain sprinkles on Sunday. Overnight though, 26 degrees in Milwaukee and again a trace of snow snow down to the state line up to the north more like one to one and a half inches of fresh powder as we get into your Saturday morning then Saturday staying mainly dry except for a couple lake effect flurries 36 though for a high up to 40 with some sprinkles possible on Sunday Monday and Tuesday still staying very mild just a bit on the breezy side before a quick dip into the 30s for Wednesday then as we get closer and closer to your Friday and into the holiday weekend we are talking about some colder air working on in for Christmas not quite the minus two cold Christmas we've ever had. Definitely not the 60s, but we're looking at 20s for Christmas weekend.